A man who spent nearly 25 years in prison for a murder he did not commit now wants justice. Thomas Rhodes filed a federal lawsuit against the former Ramsey County medical examiner, Dr. Michael McGee, who has been called unreliable in court. Ryan Raich has reported extensively on McGee and was the first to sit down with Rhodes when he walked out of prison last year. It's been one year since Rhodes gained his freedom. One of the reasons he had his murder conviction tossed is because of the, quote, flawed findings by former medical examiner Dr. Michael McGee. Now Rhodes wants accountability. To mark the one-year anniversary of his release, Thomas Rhodes is seeking justice, filing this federal lawsuit against the people who built the case against him more than two decades ago. We're fighting for him to get some accountability and compensation for those two decades of his life that were stolen from him. Former longtime Ramsey County medical examiner, Dr. Michael McGee, whose credibility imploded in recent years, is on the top of the list of defendants. The lawsuit says McGee and prosecutors not only fabricated evidence, they fabricated a crime that never occurred. These defendants absolutely knew what they did was wrong. It was, it was unprofessional. It was unacceptable and, frankly, it was unconstitutional. The case against Rhodes dates back to the late 1990s. Five investigates reviewed the old case file last year. That includes footage of Green Lake in Spicer, where Rhodes said his wife fell overboard and drowned. But police and prosecutors argued that Rhodes pushed his wife into the water and intentionally rammed her with the boat, killing her. Their theory reinforced by their star witness, Dr. Michael McGee. He indicated that I did something to my wife. I was trying to save her. We sat down with Rhodes in his first interview as a free man last February. Your trial was a long time ago. Yeah. And it, to me, it seems like you remember that like it was yesterday. Absolutely. I remember, yeah, I remember that night. I remember McGee's testimony has been replayed in my mind, you know, thousands of times over the years. Testimony the state has since conceded was based on flawed findings. Rhodes is now the third person to have their convictions tossed or sentences overturned due to McGee in what one judge called his, quote, well-documented history of providing false or inaccurate testimony in court. This is not the only case and not the only wrongful conviction in which he manipulated evidence the former Candy Ohio County prosecutor and a captain with the Hennepin County Sheriff's Office are also named in this lawsuit. Representatives with the counties have not responded to our request for a comment. In the news from Ryan Reich, 5 Eyewitness News.